hello guys welcome to another tutorial video so in a previous video we did a dashboard and i mean okay let me pull up the dashboard okay here is it so i did a tutorial video on this dashboard and i think i said i wanted to link um, a real graph and a pie chart to it in the future so i've been away for a while now so now i'm back so finally i've now linked a real graph and a pie chart to it so which is the so this is it now so this is a graph and a pie chart so initially we were using an image and image of graph and image of pie chart so if you look at the difference if you look at this this is just an image and this is also an image you just put it there just in case so in this this is a graph and a, a pie chart this is not images real so what we just did here is that so if you look at my excel this is an excel here so this is the data which i was displaying the graph and the pie chart so this is like subjects and students in the class so this is like displaying the total number of subjects every student supposed to study and the average raw mark so into i'm go, i'm not going to get into the data the science science data of it i'm just going to focus on the structure part i assume that you know all the science data of it already all the data science of it already so if you still want me to do video on it on how to like on how to do these calculations like maybe plot graphs and plot statistics and all those on graphs those are like the data science part of it i'll still do it but right now i assume you know it already so i'm just focusing on the structural part so i'm not going to go much into this so inside my source folder you can see i have this excel i've saved it as book one dot excel lsx so if you look at my source code here this is the dashboard you just created which i have to do a video on it you can if you are new if you are seeing this video for the first time i'm going to put link in the description for you to see how we did the dashboard in the first place so this is like the source code of the dashboard let me increase the size of the screen so you can see it all so let's do this to like 125 or this like this pretty okay so okay i hope it's a little big now so if you look at here database here look at the link where we are reading this with the book one so this is the book one as i showed you in the source code here the book one you are seeing here which is the one in the excel so this is the excel data we are reading inside the graph and the pie chart we are reading here so if you look at here you can see julius gideon justice daniel all those stuff and the max so this is like the total mark in the class so if we go back to our excel let's just calculate like the two this let's just do auto sum here what is auto sum okay it's right here so you can see the total mark of this is 1034 so if we look at our graph you can have for like you can see this 1034 for dennis so let's just try another out so let's just see let's just mix some of this as well so this is like 888 so when we go to the that's what so that's for simon as well which is 888 so so basically if you look at here what this one is displaying the raw average mark and here is displaying in percentage as you know pie chart is all about percentages and stuff so if you look at here you can see that dennis has the highest average mark here so if you look at 
the five chart you can see Dennis has 19.0 percent which is the highest yeah, followed by okay I think Simon has the highest so Simon no I don't think Simon has the highest okay okay, okay. yeah okay yeah I think nine five two which is the second highest which is bigger so yeah as you can see for 19 the second highest is like 17.5 percent followed by nine Julius which is nine zero eight so yes as you can see here Julius also has the third highest so basically what I just want you to see is that I just want you to know that this is like not image this is like real stuff and it, it, you, you always don't have to be excel as well you can you can be in the database maybe you have an application where you want to like display maybe your statistics maybe you have an application of maybe uh, maybe like shop or maybe a supermarket system maybe you want to like you have a dashboard or let's say this is your dashboard where you want to display like maybe the total sales made in the day maybe in the chat form or graph and stuff so you can even use the tab so in, in, i'm going to make an i'll make a video where maybe we'll, instead of displaying this from the uh, excel we we'll display it from a database so maybe let's say just like you have tables here maybe you have your application you can display your data maybe your results after maybe they make purchases in the app the result saves in the database and the database result displays on your graph you can do all that so i'm just giving you an idea if you want to go ahead and do it yourself you can do it if you want me to still do it i'll still do it for you but right now i'm just focusing on the structure part i don't want to go into the data base data science of it so let's get back to here so like let's just see if this is like a real thing not just an image so okay let's look at the uh, what else can we do okay we can change the so if you look at this initially you can see julius in the pie chart julius part of the julius portion of the pie chart has been exploded so let's try and change it to another one which has been exploded so okay let's make all exploded so let's see make it like 0 0.2 0 0.2 here yeah. 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 so let's launch it okay so you can see if you look at this initially Julius was the only part portion exploded you can see now all of them has been exploded so let's okay let's okay let's leave Julius to a full I just make like three exploded so let's launch it again I think it's building up so as you can see we have three exploded here yeah. So as you can see, like this is like a real like thing we are doing. It's not like just a, an image being added there. So like whatever like we are. So let's leave like this. Okay, we can even decide to change maybe the color of this to like black, black or something. So we have like one exploded. So I think the one is like Simon or something, black Simon or something. So is it? okay as you can see we've changed the color of this to black so as you can see it is black and like this is like simon we left simon exploded as well so i'm going to do a tutorial video on how i did this from scratch so you don't have to worry about it if you are not getting what i'm doing so I'm, i'll make a tutorial video on it yeah so this is like it so just back to where it is so like this like real time updates like this like the graph like the average mark for all students in the class so like this like the total mark of just like adding all the mark of the students and per the raw average mark in the class so this like how it is so 
I'm going to make a tutorial video on how, how you can link like your graph to like your dashboard and stuff like I promised in the other video. I think I was not around that so I was not able to complete it. But now I'm going to, now that I'm back, I'm definitely going to complete it and do another part of it where we are linking this live. So if you are new to this channel, you can just subscribe and wait for that video to drop. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.